This is Tom of the Tom of Christian Channel um, with another encouraging video because the Lord laid on my heart to do it. Um, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, um, if you don't know Jesus' love, or if you're, or or maybe you know, maybe um, you might think you do, but you but you know, um, it wouldn't hurt to say the sinner's prayer and ask Jesus into your heart, mean it with your heart, and and get baptized, uh, which represents the washing away of sins. It's symbolic to represent the, way, um, the, the water baptism and then the fire baptism of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Sorry. Abba Father, we're going to start our prayer. Abba Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Yahshua Mashiach, I ask, Lord, that you bless this video. Give the people watching and the person making this video wisdom, Lord, uh, that surpasses all understanding. And, and your divine um, and your divine guidance and your divine mercy, Lord, I ask that you give that you give everyone a blessing from this video, Lord. I hope that this video helps someone and encourages someone, Lord, as it is as it intended to. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I know we're going through a lot. Um, Satan really is trying everything with me. I haven't gotten very good sleep lately because I've been under constant attack. Um, I've been like family members have been coming after me, which is the standard usual stuff. Um, he's been trying to isolate me so I don't, so I don't get fellowship and support from fellow, from fellow bride members, from fellow, uh, members in the body of Christ. Um, you know, the, the everyday life stresses, um, not so much finances at the moment, praise God, but other things. Um, I just gotta endure through it all. I know that Jesus is with us, and Satan is taking, I've, I've noticed something, where a lot of the mockers and scoffers have stopped mocking and scoffing altogether all at once. That tells me that it would be a miracle and it would be a praise Jesus moment if that was genuine. But I think they're all taking it because they lack the, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. I think they're all being controlled, probably not with their own, their own understanding, not even knowing it maybe. They're all being controlled by evil, by evil entities that are working together. And so when they suddenly shift the way they do things, that makes me highly suspicious. Um, that that things are about to change, something's about to happen. I just feel it in my spirit. We all feel it in our spirit. We're so close now. We're so close to, we're so close to going now. We're so close to leaving. We're so close to being with the Lord Jesus Christ. We'll be in heaven with a wedding supper. Uh, for those of us who haven't given up, for those of us who waited until the very until the very very moment that He came and and, and called us up and took us home, um, which is not unfortunately, you know. When someone mocks and scoffs someone who's waiting for the blessed hope, um, that's a that's a real good that's a real easy sign that they are not of the Lord, absolutely one hundred percent, because um, you know we are we are hoping for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ, and when someone mocks that, when someone mocks someone, um, when when they're sad that yeah maybe they were deceived into thinking that he was going to come a day that he didn't come, but when they mock that, that is definitely not the Holy Spirit. That is one hundred percent a demon, a fallen angel, or or some kind of some kind of influence of a demon or a fallen angel on that person, um, bringing joy out of out of mocking those that are suffering, out of mocking those that 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 are waiting for Jesus, and and the and the people that follow those people, if they can't see the evil and 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 just the absolute just the absolute hatred and the lack of respect for God's children. That they do, then that tells me that uh, that tells me that they aren't right with God. Like they don't they don't have they probably don't have the Holy Spirit because when you have the Holy Spirit, you're not self righteous. You don't justify things that you do. You don't you you always keep yourself in check and make sure that you're on the path that you're the correct path. You always make sure that you're not doing anything to offend the Lord because you love the Lord and because you love the Lord Jesus Christ, you want to follow all the commandments. I don't mean all the all the laws and ordinances. I mean, like, uh, I mean, like, follow the Holy Spirit and follow like the commandments in the New Testament. Not necessarily, like, not necessarily all all 613 Levitical laws. No, I mean because the the Old Testament was fulfilled, and the New Testament is, you know, the the whole, we are the temple of God, and the Holy Spirit dwells inside those of us who have repented, who have given our life over, who have surrendered ourselves to God completely, and we have the Holy Spirit dwelling inside of us, we got baptized with both the water baptism and the Holy Spirit, 
and now we're walking out our faith day by day. And because of that, the demons are attacking our, our, our bodies that are still corrupt. We need to we need to take off the incorruptible and put on I mean the the corruptible and put on the incorruptible when we get when we get our, our new bodies when, when we get raptured. Absolutely. But until then they have they they can they can take it out on our on our um, because when Adam and Eve uh, committed the first sins, they they essentially they corrupted um, they corrupted the world. They allowed Satan free reign over the world. They chose Satan over God, and so as a result, like we have these bodies that want to sin, we have these we have this fallen corrupt world in which we die, and, and in which death is all around us. And the demons have free reign to attack us, and and we are. We are protected by by the Lord. They can only do what they're what they're given permission to do. That will strengthen us and glorify God when we don't give in to what they want us to do. We won't just when we don't just curl up in a ball and give up. But when we give it all to God and we don't give up and we don't turn away and we don't stray, you know, like just today, I was in a lot of pain. I was under spiritual attacks. And my family came with me with really powerful drugs, being like, "Here, take these." They even mocked me while I was at it, um, saying that I, saying not to watch Kook Fest videos, which is in reality Holy Spirit-led videos, and and to watch relaxing TV. So I mean, that was Satan tempting me to take those pills. I definitely didn't. I'm not going to take painkillers or anything like that because that's that's not what I felt led in the spirit not to take them. Because that would be that would be altering my body. That would be altering my temple. That would be defiling my temple if I were to get high off those drugs or whatever. And so no, I'll just take the pain. Why? Because I love Jesus Christ, and I know that what that you know I bring Him glory when I don't give in to Satan and, and everything He tries to do to me to prove. Just like with Job, He tries to prove to God that if you do enough to me, you know if Satan does enough to me, I'll, I'll turn my back on God and give up. Well, that's not going to happen. Because I'm a loyal bride member, I'm a loyal follower and servant of Jesus Christ. And so, we need to keep our children in fellowship and know that we're close, and know that these demons know that it's close, and so they're trying everything to, to harm us, to get us off course. And there are lots of wicked deceivers on YouTube, like the mockers, the scoffers, and for some reason they've changed, they've changed direction. And to, to me that tells me what side they're on, because if they all, all of a sudden, all at once decide to change the direction to... to that they aren't going to come after people all at once that tells me that they know something's about to happen. I don't know what that is, but you guys take care and have a good one. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I, I, I ask that you bless this video and that it that it may... Um, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over it, Lord, and I hope that this video has encouraged or helped someone as it was intended to do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.